3, Interpreting Poetry in the Bible In the Old Testament, poetry was commonly used. Where? In Psalms, Job, and Proverbs. Many new Bible versions show poetry with indented lines. God used poetry to touch people's hearts and emotions. Often, the Bible writers used poetry to describe strong human feelings. Long ago, in God's temple in Jerusalem, God's people sang psalms. Today, psalms are still sung in Christian churches. There are three guidelines to help analyze and understand poetry in the Bible. One, Hebrew poetry in the Old Testament. is different from English poetry. Hebrew poetry uses parallelism. Hebrew poetry does not use words. that sound the same as other words. Hebrew poetry has the same meaning in two different lines in the poem, but uses different words. Many times the first line says one idea, but the second line says the opposite and different thought. But the thoughts are always parallel. Two, when you analyze poetry, you must know the historical background and culture. Poetry has a tight relationship with their experiences and emotions. For example, Psalm 90 is a prayer of Moses. Some Psalms look forward and focus attention on Jesus, the Messiah. Some Psalms focus on Jesus and are named Messianic Psalms. 3. Remember, poetry often uses a figure of speech and lets off literal, straight word meanings. Poetry verses. We read them and easily identify with them. Why? We often experience the same feelings that the writer explained in the poem.